what is going on guys smooth racing again back with a brand new video and today we've got our belgium gp preview and once again we're doing a different video as we'll be doing our five thoughts on the belgium grand prix just to mix up these preview videos a bit so they're just you know they're not the same as everyone else's just doing a standard preview but we'll be doing something a bit different having our five thoughts on the belgium grand prix and also we can make this um, a bit more fast flow and a bit more direction to the preview fan rather than just running through the teams you know it's a different format and different um points every time so let's get straight in there with the first point then and this is a track where mercedes should be very good um especially with the two long straights you've got the um, start finish straight and of course you've got the massively long straight as well and then you also you've got um leading up to the source um i have mentioned that i mean up towards the um bus stop chicane as well there's also quite a big curve there so you'd you know expect mercedes to be very good around this track and particularly all the mercedes powered cars so just to remind you that's williams force india and mclaren out of them definitely williams um in terms of top line top speed they seem to have actually even a better top speed than Mercedes. So possibly, you know, Williams could be up there, but I really can't see them beating Mercedes this time. Possibly in Monza, but of course we'll come on to that. Um, you know, down the Camel Straight, we should be seeing the Mercedes cars definitely, um, you know, heading up towards Turn 7, making a lot of moves and certainly closing in on their rivals. So I definitely expect Mercedes and the um, mercedes powered cars to be mainly filling the top 10, I think. Maybe apart from McLaren, who are... Um, have been struggling recently, although Button is quite good at this track. Moving on to our second point, and that is Kimi Raikkonen's possible comeback in this race. I'm sure everyone knows that you know, the Spa Francorchamps circuit, the Belgium Grand Prix circuit, is Kimi Raikkonen's favourite track. He's had a lot of success in the past, and he's just really fast. You know, he won in a underperforming Ferrari in 2009, famously, you know, held off Fizzy Keller. And it, it could be a great chance for Raikkonen to get his season back on track. He said he's lost none of his pace. But surely he can't go from, you know, the pace he was at last year to this awful pace and just being outperformed by Alonso. So hopefully, I really am hoping that this will be the race where Kimi Raikkonen comes back. And to be honest, it is possible. It could happen. And it's certainly a very valid point. And hopefully Kimi Raikkonen can come back um, to his winning ways. And what a story that would be if he could come here and um, at least match his teammates. I'm not expecting him to beat him, but certainly... It would be good if he could, um, you know, get a bit closer to Fernando in qualifying and in the race, since this is a track he likes so much. Uh, moving on to the next point, which is the changeable weather. I don't know if you remember last year, but in qualifying we saw, I believe, Van der Gaard and the two Marouches getting through to Q2 thanks to a really good tyre choice. I think they went on to the, um, I don't remember which way around it was, it's either they went on slicks on a inters track or they went on inters on a drying track oh sorry getting um, a heavier wet track but anyway they made a really good choice and um, hopefully we'll be in for a really good qualifying session and um, especially if there's varied weather and also in the races there's varied weather it could be anyone's game really especially with Jensen Button um, you know the master in the wet he also likes his track he won here in 2012 when all the uh, madness is going on I'm sure there'll be probably some pictures somewhere in this video of them um, term one as I've included some pictures of the past two years at Spa but we should be set for a really good Grand Prix regardless of the weather but we, that's something we always have to take um, into account and maybe on one of the days maybe if it, even it's just on practice we will be seeing some wet weather moving on to our wet penultimate point number four and that is the overtaking spot will definitely be down towards um, Le Combs and turn seven um, especially the Mercedes powered cars will be getting a really good tow on the Kemmel Street. And I think that the, the you know the Williams of Bottas and Massa are gonna be really hard to pass um unless someone else has a Mercedes engine and I think um say Rosberg or Hamilton is coming from the back again and has to pass a Williams, it could be really tough for them because Williams has such a good straight line speed. And I do think if maybe um, Bottas or Massa maybe has a bad qualifying and they find themselves near the back of the grid they could certainly make you know, a lot of moves and I do expect for turn 7 and you know going through Lacombe you know we could see some wheel, wheel, wheel to wheel action going into turn 10 they could be going side to side and certainly going into the chicane bus stop chicane we should be seeing some moves as well because there's also a really good chance um, to overtake there and possibly into the source into turn 1 and the final point then is the first race back and could we see a change in the order of pace could red bull be close to mercedes we're not going to find it out really this time 
although we could see if Renault actually have an improved performance we could definitely see them maybe a bit closer to the sort of the top speeds that the Mercedes cars can get and also maybe closer to Ferrari we'll have to see maybe we have Ferrari improved although I doubt it uh, most likely someone like Sauber could have improved quite a lot and then someone's performances like Force India might have got a bit worse this was a time when they sort of dropped off um, this stage last year of course partly due to um, the Pirelli tyre change, but someone like them really benefited. And I think if you remember last year, Paul the rest in got pole and you know whatever changes. So I think this could provide a good opportunity for maybe one of the Sauber drivers, especially Sotil, as he's you know he's definitely been the closest to points this season. So I think um, for someone like Sauber, it's a good opportunity in terms of Marushan Caprum. I can't really see it happening with it being such a long track and um, being such a long straight. It's really hard to defend, and with Caprum having a Renault engine and Rouge and Sauber having a Ferrari, maybe it's not the likeliest of tracks and in terms of the um, people retiring in this race, it's not really that famous for having a lot of retirements although it is um, famous for having some spectacular crashes which is um, not the best reputation of this track but you know that's just an eventuality and that is probably going to happen but hopefully we won't see any crashes and certainly not on lap 1 and turn 1 but anyway, as we're racing then be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions on everything I've discussed on the Belgium Grand Prix and also put your predictions as my predictions are Lewis Hamilton, Nico Rosberg and Valtteri Bottas I've in the third place and that's my podium prediction be sure to put your podium prediction your top five or even your top ten if you really want to down in the comment section below and I'm Super Racing and I'll see you guys next time goodbye